to assist in web interviewing for your chronic brain condition through SurveyMonkey. Question one. You walk into a house, perhaps it is your house, and none of the dishes have been done. The bedroom is plastered. There are clothes everywhere in every awful corner. It has all been paid for. There is a weasel, it is dead of course, taxidermy, eating your cigarettes. They remain rowed up like bodies in their case. Naturally, your eyelids twitch. You notice the underwear is all dirty, but it is dry now. There are fake five quid notes in your fridge, and the person you thought you loved, who has never loved you, has bought you a soda stream machine. Hmm. You have a blue slush puppy in your hand. Happy birthday. Do you A, clean up, or B, burn the house down? Question two. You are traveling. There has been a question, a ticking of a box. Do you journey for work or for leisure? You think inevitably about how simple the world would be if you could separate the two. And then it occurs to you, you no longer know what the latter means. Leisure. It sounds menacing to you now. A concept with faint smells of totalitarianism. But what you don't know is you're thinking that because you are soft. A moaner. You've read too much and been pampered so hard that you no longer realise how easy your breakfast is. What gradually burns your throat is a lozenge of love to others, to most. For your weather is patient, your pressure is light, your frog plays fair with the whims of small farmers and other peasants. You barely know what work means, so how could you understand leisure? Do you A, journey inward, or B, keep pretending as you munch your pills, this is all working out for you? Question three. You're 16 and you hear about existentialism from Sasha Gray. Only, you're not 16, you're 35, and you're messing around with other people's lives. You are attractive only because you are old. What you are is neither fair nor neutral, so you have a decision to make. You hold your face in your hand in the car park of a place that calls itself a bistro. But you are in the Midlands, so you hear a man in a raincoat say bistrot. You check your phone and contribute to a charity which saves donkeys. You passionately no longer think what you once thought. You wish you hadn't come to the doctor. You have lots of other things to do. Do you A, remain still, or B, subscribe to my mailing list? For my last two questions, I would like to ask uh, a favor from Jessica. Would you mind accompanying me? Yeah. I don't know if you guys are aware, but he comes from a very illustrious line of Russian Jews, which especially uh, Skriabin, the composer, who uh, has a manuscript that I found in my closet in Cambridge last week, which I'm going to play now as he continues to read. This is my family's music that you're about to hear. Question four. You didn't mean it. Of 
flights and drones, and maybe, depending on your postcode, missiles. You rail against the closure of libraries, but you never use one. You rail against the closure of a continent, but you never use one. Is metaphor neutral? Does it depend on the content or not? You wonder. What you know is this. You are neutral enough to still be alive. To say do not worry. To have to spit on fruit to clean it. Do you A or do you B? Jessica Sapphire. Hello, good evening. Thank you, Steve, and thank you.